listen guys just listen to me once and for all listen i don't know what you're doing now and i don't know what you are planning to do but if you have just like five minutes of your time just give me this five minutes of your time okay because i have something very 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 important to tell you guys today because it's going to be very 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 helpful and i think it's going to be very very informative for whoever is planning to come to belgium or in europe in general so if you're planning to come to belgium trust me just take your pen and a paper and sit on your couch get some popcorns and some coke and in your zen mode because crispin is here to give you 360 okay i'm right back If you guess you just tune in, this is the Crispin 360 and I'm here to give you my tea. As in, I'm here to spill the tea. I always tell you. But in order for me to spill the tea, I have to drink some tea. Okay, so let me drink my tea now because I don't joke with my tea. Mm. But before I jump into today's episode, I always say this. What are you waiting for? I mean, I don't understand. Crispinators, tell your crispinators. I mean, the new crispinators or the ones that are about to be born. I mean, usher them into the crispinators world, you understand? Because you crispinators, you you guys are the issue. Without you guys, I won't be where I am today, you know? So, listen, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? What the hell are you waiting for? No, just go there, click on the subscribe button. Bing, 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 just and watch. also personalize it. If I post a video, you'll be among the first people to see my post okay so just subscribe like and share tell your friends and family as usual okay all right let's jump into the first one now here's the thing okay we're going to be talking about weather in belgium ha 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 yes we're talking about belgium yes belgium has a lot of like should i say secrets because i don't think the word is secrets the word is um the dynamics because in belgium it can go from this to this within just two hours that is belgium for you yes nothing in belgium especially when it comes to the weather it is unpredictable repeat after me it's unpredictable that is belgium weather for you so now let's start by saying this okay belgium is in the central okay i mean um coming from i i mean obviously you guys know i'm from ghana right in ghana we don't have all those four seasons i think ghana we have only two seasons we have the rainy season and then the like the dry season like the, that is where it shines a lot i think um the rainy season is around june july i guess and then the rest of the months it's 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 sunny 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 so that's where people get to do the farming i mean the farming happens around from the june july i guess that's where people get to do their farming their crop cash crops and all that you know so coming here from africa to europe it's a whole different season now here's the thing in belgium they have four seasons okay they have the winter the summer the winter and then the autumn so <coughs> i'm gonna be diving right into it okay let's here's the thing uh if you want to come to belgium when to come to belgium i mean i don't believe in that 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 scenario because anything can happen at any given time don't don't think that because it's summer you're not going to experience rain you would definitely experience rain that is built up for you the weather is unpredictable that's what i said in the beginning of the video so personally i don't believe in when people say oh belgium this month is the best time to go to belgium or this time is the best to go to or like to visit belgium i don't believe in that maybe in my dictionary or in my world it doesn't happen like it doesn't work for me because unfortunately for me it never works in my favor so i'm going to be talking from christmas angle and what i've experienced okay so here's the thing belgium it's not that rainy 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 rain like it doesn't pour rain like cat and dogs in belgium like that however it gets very very cold because in belgium okay sometimes you could be like oh my god you know in belgium you know usually from january february march it's a little bit cold but in march april is spring okay but the spring is for me or maybe most for we most africans spring is more like winter for us because it's still cold but you see them you see people switching maybe maybe if they wear like scarf with hand gloves in january in spring they'll be wearing something like a sweater with a long you know, like a turtle neck you know but it's still cold but for we africans or maybe for we africans yeah of african people because it is still cold for us you understand so it's very confusing you know? 
so the winter starts somewhere around january all the way to march and then in march ending to april may june that's a spring okay but like i said for we africans it's still cold so you have to be very careful when it comes to belgium around that time it's very very cold however when it starts from july i guess you know september ish that time it's summer and then from there we have the like the october okay now here's the thing i want to just emphasize on this here's the thing okay in belgium i'm actually making this video for the ones coming this is going to be a short video it's not going to be a long video okay the ones coming from africa and then asia maybe i put it that way african and asia when it comes to europe it's confusing for them because even me staying here i've been here for more than three years now and sometimes you could see that it's very hot outside like it's very very hot so don't uh don't just go out and think that oh my god it's going to be hot so i'm not going to dress like you know you should always have a jacket somewhere you know hide your jacket somewhere because when you step outside trust me the next one hour i can just change you know belgium weather can go from zero to 100 real quick that's how it is in belgium it goes like this you know so be very careful how you dress when you go out don't just go out and dress anyhow check the weather forecast on your phone maybe you can just download the app on your phone and just check because belgium the weather is very very unpredictable i always keep on saying this the weather is unpredictable because like currently it's summer it's supposed to be summer now because it, it can get very very hot but sometimes i go out or maybe well i have learned my lesson so i don't do that mistakes again sorry my friends but i have to say this i don't do that mistake again but i see a lot of people doing it people go like oh my god it's so hot and then i want to wear something short i want to show some skin i want to show some legs you know yeah i want to show my sex box and all that then around 4 or 5 p.m you see them being like you know it's cold it's shivering you know, like like it's shivering you understand so how's the weather so always try to have a jacket next to you or maybe in your backpack i don't know how you're gonna do it but have something that just in case the weather it doesn't rain because unlike some countries it might get summer and then it gets to rain but here it doesn't rain but the weather is very like the atmosphere is very chilly very very chilly you understand so normally in june it's supposed to be hot but it changes you know it's it's it's, it's like it just changes so if you plan to come here you should also also know how to dress just at least pack one jacket or a, like something like a jacket in your in, in your hand luggage because you never know belgium it can serve you cold today and serve you i mean sunny tomorrow it's, it's like this okay and that is the thing about belgium here so please whoever is coming to belgium you really have to watch this video and don't just dress in it doesn't rain like i said it doesn't rain so 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 much like compared to turkey or south africa and belgium it doesn't rain a lot like that but it can get very very cold however in summer okay you know i was i'm always emphasizing on it gets cold and it gets when it gets cold but trust me if belgium wants to get hot trust me it gets pretty really 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 hot like in belgium we call something the heat wave do you know the heat wave yes you know, you know, okay, I was, I, I will just give an example. You know, in Ghana, okay, no, I, I, I keep saying Ghana all the time in my videos, you know, anyway. You know, in Africa, okay, it, even if it's very hot, like people, I, when I hear people say that Africa is very hot, I get it, I, I laugh off because I'm like, you guys don't know what hotness is. Come to Belgium, this is where the hotness is, it's here. Maybe Spain might be very hot, but I've not been to Spain yet, but I, I was told Spain is very, very hot. But in Belgium, the summer in Belgium, look, here, here's how it is, okay? It's very hot in the room, like it's very very hot. And you know, in Belgium, air conditions are not very common in Belgium. You know, it's it it it's there, okay, but it's not it's not it's 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 it two percent to actually see a co air condition in someone's room. It's not very common here in Europe because they, they they think there is more winter than summer. You understand? So that's what I tell you. So when it comes to Belgium, most of most of the hotels don't even have air conditions. They expect you to open the windows so they assume that it's gonna be cold or like throughout okay but <clears throat> the wind outside is actually blowing air but the wind is not it's not blowing air actually it's blowing hotness you know it's like so so when you try to find yourself like find yourself you are actually blowing air into yourself you understand so that's how hot it can get in belgium and it's it's not something very something good to write home about trust me when i came to belgium the first year i was like wait a minute am i in africa I think I'm in Africa because this weather is not like the weather I presume that it's going to be like. It's different here. When it wants to get really, really cold, it can get really, really cold. Likewise, if you want to get really, really hot, it can get really, really, really hot. That is Belgian weather for you. So you should know how to balance it. 
May my problem may is summer in Belgium. It doesn't give you the hundred percent summer. So always have jackets in your bag because trust me, you go out and you regret I'm like why didn't I put something on? It has happened to me so many times and I've learned my lesson and I don't want the newcomers coming to Belgium to also experience what I went through. Okay. So guys, this is what I want to talk to you about. Okay, so please. But apart from all these things, it's a, I always say it's a nice country, okay? You can just come and chill. You can go to Antwerp, go to Ghent, and Brussels is where all the chilling is, you know? And of course, if you go to Bruges and then, you know, those areas, it's also very... If you go to Narmen, you know, it's also a very nice place to chill. Belgium weather likes to test you, you know, because you don't know what you are going to get from Belgium. You can be getting hotness or coldness. Hotness or coldness, you know? They try to serve you, you know? They try to give you hot meal and like they give you desserts. The dessert is the cold one and then the hot one is the meal. So guys, I'm gonna end my vlog for today and I hope someone out there learns something about the weather in Belgium. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for once again? Please go there and just subscribe to my channel because I love you guys and stay safe and you know, be nice to people, you know, so be nice to people. And I love you guys. And on to the next episode of Crispin360, I am out of here.